Won't budge. Ain't gonna happen. A spike is useful. in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Burn, baby, burn. Girl, a break. Showtime. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. There's an endless supply of us. Oh, look. A bad guy. Who has 
Good evening, Slayer. Guess you're kind of sore about me dusting your snaky girlfriend. You're a formidable prey, Slayer. But now, <laughs> you face a truly worthy adversary. Here, kitty kitty. guy doesn't do the whole ashes to ashes thing or maybe his inner animal is more possum than tiger bad possum never much cared for cats more of a dog person really shape shifting like that sometimes the heart isn't in the same place Gotta be more persistent, Slayer. And sometimes, you just need a longer shaft. All right, Spike. What's going on? Spill it. Excuse me, young miss. Let me remind you that I just saved your life. You can come down from DEFCON 1 now. I'm here to form a truce. You know, bury the hatchet, that sort of thing. We have a common enemy, you and I. And an alliance might just prove beneficial. Or have you forgotten all about your blood-sucking boy toy being hijacked by the Master?
Yeah, well, lovely to see you lot again as well. You're on borrowed time, Spike, alive by our sufferance. Perhaps you ought to skip the pleasantries. Right, if that's the way it is. So much for manners, eh, Giles? Something tells me you've been in America too long. Here's the deal. A big bad old one by the name of Leibach is attempting to build a bridge between his tropical paradise of a demon dimension and our little plane of existence here. He plans to lead an army of demons into this world. Leibach needed the master's expertise in opening dimensional portals and the dreamers to alter reality and physically create the bridge to bring Leibach's boys over to our side. And you've been Aaron Boy this whole time? Truth? I'm about as keen on Leibach's little plan as I was on Angelus's plot to let a Cathala run amok. The main reason I'm doing this is because Leibach has Drew in some kind of trance. And if I don't help, he'll take her lovely, fragile dove of a mind and put it through a blender. But I don't like being a lap dog. And since the Master's been back, things have gone from bad to badder as far as I'm concerned. The Master may be my great-great-grandsire, but the guy's a complete tosser. I don't trust him as far as you could throw him. Of course, it doesn't help matters much now that he gels his hair. If you catch my meaning. So now you want to throw in with us, and I'm just supposed to trust you. You're betraying your allies now. Explain to me again why that should inspire confidence. Best reason in the world, Slayer. Because they're the bad guys. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, remember? Look, I'll lead you to the Master's Lair and lend a hand with the fisticuffs, and in return, you help me rescue Drew. Then we'll be off again, out of your hair. If I agree, you don't touch Angel either. We're going to exorcise the Master from him. Fine with me. But in that case, the Watcher and Little Willow here are gonna have to whip up a special elixir or something witchy for me and Drew. In Casper mode, the Master has the power to possess any vampire of his bloodline, which includes the both of us, yeah? Willow and I have just completed a spell of protection for Angel that should work equally well for the two of you. See? No, it'd be no problem. Red's got that mojo working overtime these days. So, it's a deal, then? I haven't forgotten what happened last time I trusted you. Double-cross us, and I'll put both you and your psycho flower child girlfriend in an urn. Whatever happened to taking a man at his word? Did you bring back any crystals? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. I believe we need to augment your combat skills. Please study the techniques illustrated on this page. Joy, more and more complicated ways to monster mash. You know that old saying, better the devil you know than the devil you don't? What happens when you know them all and way too well? Distasteful as it is to align ourselves with Spike, it does seem to be the sensible course of action, as long as we keep our priorities straight. The most vital element of our attack must be the disruption of Lyback's spell to augment the power of the remaining dreamers. Everything else is secondary. Everything else? Everything. The rescue of Drusilla, even Angel safety. Reality as we know it hangs in the balance. Doesn't it always?